Hey guys, we're here with the Hollywood Life Podcast, and we've got not one, but two very special guests here today, and we are very excited to talk to them. They are married. We have Lil Mo and Carl Dargan. Welcome. Um, hey. Dargan? Yes. yes. Okay, let me do you it got again. It right. Yo, you for one of the first person that got it, people ever got it right. people said dragon. No, you said it right. I said you it did, right. yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're keeping it Probably the first person I've ever met. <laughs> ever. That didn't know me. Yeah, you wow. said Dragon, like, Dargon. Oh, amazing. Gary because, Hagen. yeah, because yeah, I am yes. known for mispronouncing <laughs> names. Some people just say. It's Irish. Somebody said it's Garden. A, oh, really? I said, what? Oh, it is. My last name is Irish. That's what I, yeah, it's, it's an Irish last name. It's funny. You don't He's look Irish. Irish. He's Irish and Cuban. Oh, like, what a blessing. Yes. I see it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Carl with the good hair. <laughs> yes. Well, Carl, don't speak no Spanish. L- L- Carl, later we're going to have to hear your Irish accent. <laughs> do, you not, do you not? Have you you've been to Ireland, right? Mm. Well, do I, your Ireland accent. Oh, he's getting bad. I'm thinking of we got to we got to get him warmed up. I don't got no accent. I don't know the coach. I don't know nothing. I don't know anything. All I know is uh, it was fun out there. <laughs> really, like, <laughs> a lot of beer. Yes. <laughs> and whiskey. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Like, no talk. I don't know. It actually um I don't know if it's a part of my family or anything, but in California we have a trainer. Is a trainer of pubs called the Dark Darkens uh, Pub. That's mm. our family. We need oh. some of that check. Yeah, <laughs> I give think that. Yeah, so that's when I seen it, I'm like, yo, because that's rare. It was in Ventura, California, so I was like, oh snap. Hit me, I'm your cousin. That's what you gotta say. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it, pro- it probably is part of your family, I part of your clan. I was actually you know? I was for training with um, with a close good friend of mine, Victor Ortiz. I was out there training. Mm. And he's about to, uh, he was trying to fight for me. Was it? Yeah, uh, like around the corner, around the corner from the house, it was like a restaurant called, I mean, a uh, uh, Irish pub called Dargan's. I'm like, oh snap! Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> look into that for real. <laughs> well, we are going to be talking, and we've also got Ali Stagnita, our on-air anchor and entertainment writer, and Nick, the silent producer here, and we are <laughs> going to talk. <laughs> Um, about the fact that you guys are right now starring on Marriage Boot Camp, hip, hip Hop <laughs> Edition. Yes, ma'am. And I hear it's Man. the Purge House. If you can make it in the Purge House, you can make it anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Explain. And it's like living. Are you guys married? I'm married, yes. How long have you been no. married? Oh, you, a ridiculous number of years. I got married as a as a, as a early teenager. Really? Yes. It's like, to me, I it was, was basically like... Look, stepping outside of our bodies, years. looking at ourselves in four other different ways. Wow! Yeah. Because it's five couples. So it's five couples in there. And so it was like us looking at our it. us looking at our own. We stepping outside our body, looking at our own relationship from this way, from that way, from this way, and from that way. Like yo, because there's a lot of there was a lot of things in there that um, I, a lot of situations with other couples that I, I can relate to. You know, so I was like, and wow. And then there were other couples. And there were other just couples. Like, you were just like, whoa, what you know, the hell is going on? Yeah, you on? don't join in people's relationships or their marriage because everybody has their own, you know, issues that they grow through. But then you look, you're like, wow, I would never do that. Or like, oh, man, that's how it looks when yeah. this happens. That's how I act. Like, you get to see yourself inside everyone else and as well as work on yourself. But the key to it all is like the fact that there's no TV, no radio, mm. no contact with the outside world. So just imagine it's almost Sheesh. like it's rehab, prison, <laughs> marriage house. Like, cause right? just, I know you say you've been married for some time. This is my third marriage and I usually make it to six years and then that's it. So we're creeping up on six years. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's just like, you don't realize how much of a, you know, your relationship needs that reboot, reset, jumpstart again because, you know, yeah, like, don't matter how long you've been together, be locked in the house with somebody. <laughs> and how Man, long with How long spouse. were you locked in the house for? Like it 20, wasn't a, was it like 25 days? Like 25 days? Whatever it was, like a day. month, the whole month of, like, filming. It's almost like the government shutdown. Almost yes. as long as that. <laughs> Baby, and you see her. Okay. <laughs> you can't leave the house. That's why we call it the prayer house. You can't leave the crib. Can't leave. And it's like, oh, everything, it's just crazy. And it's not like a dungeon, not keep, no sleep twice. Sleep one hour nice, open. right. You gotta but sleep it's like one hour no open. clocks, so. <gasps> no clocks? No, you get to set your, you got to set your alarm through your phone, but your phone doesn't work there. No phones. So it's like you really have to work on your issues 
Or, you know, if you have a, whatever's great in your marriage, it helps you take it to the next level. Whatever's lacking or missing in your marriage, they'll help put, like, they touch every aspect. Like, it makes you, like, real crazy. uncomfortable and vulnerable because it's like. That's true. But the transparency is which not only helps you, but it helps everyone, everyone. else. All the other yeah. couples. Because we didn't do it just to be on TV. I get up, like, you know? and, and another thing is, like, <laughs> we will we'll finish filming around, like, 12 o'clock, 12.30 at Sometimes night. Sometimes later. Wow. A little after late. midnight. And then, but we up at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. I'm used to laying in the bed to like yeah, relaxing until like 3 or 4 Watch in the afternoon. Watch a little bit of TV, a little Netflix. Uh, yeah, so it was like, I was already running. I'm like, oh man, I hate, and I hate being woke up. And waking up, <laughs> so I hate So they made that. you get up around 7? And then they, they say, kept... all right, listen, what they do is they say, yo, or everybody, uh, 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 we have our own chef that makes our food. Oh, well, the, uh, the food's ready downstairs or whatever. So get up, get down there by what 7. Like, what time and is we'll it? film by 8. Or we'll film by eight thirty or whatever. We get down there, but then everybody be down there. We'll just be talking. Next thing you know, it's twelve thirty. Like time at flies. night. And no, I'm like, in the uh, afternoons, like oh, twelve thirty yeah. in the afternoon. Cause we woke up. They said we're gonna start filming at eight eight thirty. A.M. A.M. So once they get all the couples down, we start talking, like start running playing behind. pool in the house they're, they're and everything. Just, yeah. They just wanted natural, I guess, natural interactions. And yeah. they're whatever. watching every yeah. move. Every you ever move. saw the Belco experiment? <laughs> yes. So they Yo. they have cameras everywhere, right? <laughs> You ever yeah, saw the Belco experiment? <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, yo. No, I'm just yeah, like it's, it's uh, 27 cameras. In the, no, it's uh, more than that. It's 27 cameras. Listen, 27 cameras we know about. Yeah, that's in the house. But <laughs> it's Michael audio, Holmes. it's audio everywhere. Basically, it's cameras everywhere except the bathroom. But wonder, it's audio in the bathroom. I wonder audio in the bathroom. Yeah. So, oh my if god, you have the bubble guts. Be prepared to be beat boxing with your butt, and then everybody here. <laughs> But no, I was like, what? I, I want to do the, the <laughs> fact that they have the show. Like, if couples, I honestly would urge everyone if you can, like, have any, like, you know how Groupon has those like excursions. You could, yes. If they have one of those for marriages, families, for any relationship, oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. if you can, like, go somewhere, even they would, though we were like, there the, that month. And like, they if it was an event, like, if marriage boot camp was an actual event. Yeah, like, that I think, attend. like, how Nicolette. Like a vacation that you yes, could sign like up for. You can for. go right, on it, even right. if it's in a cruise in the middle of nowhere, so you, there's no distractions. It, it has to be in a, in, uh, I guess an enclosed environment because if you can leave, then that makes it too easy. But yeah. if you can break down and then build up, because they show you, they're not going to take away like from you your relationship and not have anything to put it back. Like that's what I loved about it. It's I mean, not like everything is a problem. It, it can't like then that's so then that's toxicity. Well, you know? So little Mo, you you said like kind of when we were just starting, it saved your marriage. So yes. You really feel it wasn't this, like our marriage was on the rocks, but it was like you never know what your marriage you lacks to be better, until you. Yeah, because everyone naturally, if there's an issue, it's just like, well, I don't want to be confrontational. I just want to resolve this. But you never know or realize how many issues go unresolved because one person says, well, I've, I'm done talking about it. Like they taught you how to deal with conversation, even how you approach in a conversation. Like if you come off defensive, the your natural human reaction is to de put up a defense back. Like, oh, oh, oh. And it's just like, no, sometimes you have to, a touch means a sometimes, lot. Sometimes, man, I ain't even going to hold you. They teach you, you how to communicate, Them really. doctors, man. They get in your mind. Dog. I was about to say, this is kind of scary a little bit because I can, all right, a situation with me is um, one of my cousins, uh, one of my cousins, we're the same age, but he was a few months older than me. Mm -hmm. And... I actually seen him get killed. Oh no! But that's I've terrible. never talked about it to nobody ever and in my life. He doesn't realize that. Never, trauma. never talked about it to my mom. Never talked about. I mean, they, everybody know what happened, but I never, ever, ever talked about it. You that feel must me? Have been and so they terrible. got me to talk about it. I was like, "Yo, that's crazy." It like, was crazy. So that that'll be some of the things that's coming up, and just like opening up, like you don't realize if you're. Your partner, the person you either are married to or in a relationship with, like you're supposed to be able to share everything with them. But there's a lot of people, and I would say me per se, me personally, not speaking on anyone else, that there were a lot of things that I was still healing from and I didn't realize that I was, I don't know if you remember when we had to eat the hot peppers, there was the episode we had to eat like it was 10 levels of Oh my of goodness. Heat. Oh so my goodness. So you have to take the blame. It's like eating your own words and some things that you blame your spouse or 
uh, your bay or boo for. It's just like you were walking around with that hurt that you never healed from. But that's the person, p- the purpose of being in a relationship. I shouldn't have to work around with the pain from previous marriages. Right. He's supposed like I should share some of that with him and then release it, and she should be able to take I, what it, he learns from me and not throw it again. Oh well, that's why you can't keep no man. That's why you was married on the time. Every time I turn around, you got a husband. Then I have to tell him stop turning around. Then so, I didn't know. <laughs> well, he didn't say it, but you, you're, right. word, you're not supposed to take what her and throw it back at the person. Right. That doesn't make any sense. So they told us a lot. Yeah, more than, honestly, than I anticipated. Man, they got me. Listen, I, I can go from zero to 100. They and, But they can want you to react how they want you to react. They can want you to because it's feel how they reaction. want you to feel. You feel me? Because one time um, I got a real, like I got, I got to 100 real fast. But I was, and after, but after, I, after I finished talking to him, I was like, I think he wanted to get me there. Like he got you angry. Because he got me there and like two seconds later, I'm back down. Because it's almost like, you know, everyone has triggers. Everybody can act like this. Nobody can have control over my mind like that. We won. Namaste. Yeah, you can say all that. (laughs) But you be ready. You know, like people, (laughs) they try to, I don't want, I don't want, I'm living my best life. I'm not going to have nothing negative around me. But sometimes it's not negative around you. Sometimes it's you. And you have to be adult enough to say, dang, I was toxic. I didn't. You might not have realized it. Mm-hmm. They would think there are habits that I'm I have, and there are things that I do just because I know I know I have a Napoleon complex. I automatically think I'm the shortest one in the room, and I have to be my person. That's why my personality is so big. But at the end of the day, sometimes it can Come be intimidating, on, just I'm on me. and a lot of people like they think it's a okay. defense mechanism. But a lot of times, I have to like tell a joke. Oh, you'll never know that I'm joking because of, I don't know, it just feels like me against the well, world. Some, well, some Something people that short have, people just to, suffer with. You to have that, well, you're supposed to have that demeanor where everybody when no, people look at you No, but you always say I'm aggressive so and I don't mean to be, you know what I'm saying? But they teach you how to like balance it out because you don't realize, and I'm from, I'm originally born and raised in New York. Yeah. And we moved all over. So you already know everybody in New York is born with a pair of Timberlands. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just naturally what? aggressive. <laughs> like, I, I haven't met not one person from New York that is chill. No, no it's, it's not a chill culture. culture. Am I yes. chill? Am I chill? You're not from New York. You're from Philly. I'm just saying, am I chill though? No. Uh, yeah, I don't think I feel Philly like would you're be chill, too, like old, talking too, to you right now. But not too chill but from no, Philly. No, 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 he's laid back, but that's Dude, like yo, women in New York. Yeah, from what? The women in New York and the word chill don't mix. No. That's true. <laughs> yes. It's like, so how long, now how long have you been married at this point? New York. All total, um, this is our fourth year fourth that we're being married. married but, but being uh, together, together with like one on six years. Because yeah, I just showed him some old six. messages yeah, from Yeah, li- just a little over six. What year is this? 2019 from 2013. So she, seen, like, she, wow. seen, she sent me a message that when I was, we was in each other DMs on Twitter. Whoa. Oh, my God. We've known <laughs> each other for it'll be 17 so years. So what? Wow. Show him the message. I don't even oh, the message, phone. the yeah. DM. Oh, yeah, now, do you would you say that now that you've had this experience of going through boot camp, how long ago did it finish? What is this? This is it's finished. Let me see. Okay. Oh, August probably, probably like six months. So it's been six months. Yeah. So has have you About really that. seen a difference since you did it yes. in the last six months and yeah, how you I communicate? Have. Still, it's I can you say don't come I can out say perfect. we're not where we want to be at right now, but we're way closer. Yes. Because, you know, it's some things, you know, we we don't adjust too fast. She might adjust to something faster than I do. I might adjust to something faster than her. He's never we, been married before. You know I mean? So my tolerance, my patience, so basically, we basically my acceptance is different. help each other get yeah. to where you want to be. You know or we'll mean? say. Uh, or if I'm doing something, she'll remind me. Us, if I'm doing something, she'll remind that. me. She'll be like, yo, no you going back to that? So, a lot, but a lot of times together. because you do it so much, you don't realize. Hey, you can't. That's a no no. I'll be saying that to her, and she'd be like, "What and man? Like, forget that." I didn't realize. I'm like, "Yo, you got to chill." No, no, no. She then she'd be then like, some of us then later on, she'll be like, "I'm ways. sorry, I know I was this, and I was that." And that yeah, and I'll way. apologize, but I'm not gonna just automatically become the perfect wife right then and there. She do, <laughs> yo. You know what she do? She I do things perfect, like but when I'm playing PlayStation. Uh-huh. When you're playing PlayStation, cut me off. Like she'll just. I'm I'm shut down. So I'm shutting. So if she want to talk to me, knowing she can't get my attention, she want to talk. She will start a big old argument no, about something. I don't mess with you. And then afterwards, she be like, "I just wanted your attention." Well, at least <laughs> well, I don't mess with it. you when I play plays. At least I just wanted now, your attention. But would you say that after after having gone through marriage boot camp and had all the and had the therapy that you had there, do you feel like you're more in love than ever? That there's a bigger bond than ever? We know. We know it's, it's a bigger bond, but we know it could be even bigger. Yeah. 
Like, what do you think you guys have to do to even get there? Our, like, like I yeah. said, well, um, yeah, what do we have to do? It's honestly mm. the yeah. balance of power. Yeah, because really. one of the biggest issues it what it, it wasn't ever money. It wasn't about love for each other. Because I was like, one thing I know about him is like, I know he loves me, and I know I love him. Like, oh, that's really it, I that was really that question. It was that's never that. answer that question. That's what? a good question. You said balance of power. No, it is because I, no. I, it is, the way I, I say it's because I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to, how to answer. Oh, like, oh I would say the balance of power because coming in the immediate assumption is if you look at the car it says paid by Mo. Everybody thinks it's Mo 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 because the little Mo the artist. I've been in the music industry for, for twenty years. Yeah. everybody thinks that I do everything. Like who made that up? I didn't come up with that. So that was that. So oh, he's not probably dynamite. because you're in a you you were basically is in the it, public eye more than me. So it was different. yeah. It's, it's but different. he's been to more countries than me. He was fighting for world titles at the age of 14 so it's just like things that he's done i was just like wow like that's so cool he's been 16. traveling yeah well 16 but you were <laughs> driving cars at 11 i was like what are you talking about you have a 10 year old i don't want him to even <laughs> get, get in a car, car. Put, yes yeah. please he can't no, really because one of um, <laughs> uh, my, my 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 older brother my older sister they uh a car i had at the time they, i let them take it on their prime and i was like your mother let you drive me. so i was like, like who allows like, that because they was here like, we need a car we need a car for her prom right yeah but it was just My like, sister. and then me being, having to separate the image that I created, which is Little Mo, and then Cynthia, who he's married to, which is really me. Right. So. She's the real Gemini. A, a lot of. <laughs> I'm a Gemini. <laughs> really? Yes. I'm a Scorpio. But you're a May oh, Gemini? I thought oh, wait, you you're said a you're a real. You're a May Gemini? He's a Gemini? I'm a Gemini. May? When's your birthday? June. June what? 11th. He's June 17th. 17th. So, yeah. Hey. Imagine Scorpios and Gemini. Our house is lit. <laughs> it, it is because we're always kids, it's fighting over who's pick, right. And our kids that pick up my attitudes and pick up my what they see me doing. Like, oh my god! One time, my kids, I'm picking them up from our school. Kid, he walking from school. I'm like, look at this dude. I'm like, what the hell is he doing? Who do you You're think like, you are? Why the fuck is your pants sagging like that, boy? <laughs> and he told me, I, he won't, he won't. They won't answer me because I be so aggressive with him. Mm. But they'll go on the mom, like, mom, I don't want to say that, dad, but. Dad asked me. I just was trying to wear them like he wear his pants. Oh, so I had to learn. You know what? I gotta wear my. I gotta pick my pants up around my right? kids. <laughs> well, he like all of a sudden it was like really walking. I was just like, wow, you just never realize how much influence you know you have on your children. Like, I, so, I, didn't, I didn't realize that. Like I mean, I seen them picking them, sagging their pants, not tying their shoes when they when they, they Timberlands when they walk. I'm a daddy's girl, but like, every kid. See, I, a lot of people, he didn't grow up with both parents in the home. I did. So I know the importance of you want your dad to accept you and you just, everybody loves yeah, dad. Everyone loves dad. Whether he's like, when he goes away for training camp, like the emotional preparation and the everything that we have to prepare for, he may be gone sometimes two weeks, four weeks, two months. You just wow. never know. But I, I had wondered how my mom dealt with our dad being gone with my dad being in the military. He would go to Korea for a year, uh, South America, 10 months, uh, Florida, seven months. Like how did my mom do it? So now I see myself and so much of my mom just like, wow, it, it really takes a strong foundation of family and love. And, Marriage yeah. boot camp can help you maintain it, and that's but hard. It, they can't hard. give you everything. Like some stuff is just instinct. Some stuff is just what I saw in my parents, you know, growing up. So just imagine me grew up with mom and dad married, church, school, straight A student. Uh, well, out of roll because I got some B's. Um, <laughs> perfect attendance to you know family Dang. life, moving in Texas, Georgia, New York, everywhere. So I had pretty much a well balanced life to marry. Marrying him a person, from North Philly, a person from North Philly that seems both, people get both killed parents in front wasn't of him. in the house. Like she was, she used to always tell me, "Yo, you, I think you suffer from PTSD." I'm like, "What?" She like, "Yeah, because anything, like anything, anything." She so she was like, um, "One day we was in we was in uh, Los Angeles and um, some dudes was getting robbed." This this um the, actually in front of, it, like, in it, front it, of it was us, one wow. guy getting robbed. It was like six or seven people robbing this one dude. They do that so they trying to take his chain, trying to take his watch. Yes. They going in his pockets and everything, and they had pulled guns out. When they pulled guns out. Everybody scattering around, they running around, running around. Crazy. I look, so I sh I start oh, going like trying to see what's going on. So I start going towards them. So she like, what are you doing? I'm like, what you mean? I'm trying to see what's going on. <laughs> right, because so you like, know no, the natural reaction is to run the away. Right? Yeah. Is yeah. To run, you get shot in the back. And, I'm and like, yeah. She like, yo. She like, you wasn't scared. I'm like, no. That's basically where I'm from. Is like that's normal. So. 
are are you having therapy, relationship therapy still um, as no, a follow up? No, you know what? I I was just thinking about that right while we was in this interview. I was just thinking about that. Like, what, yo, should we go get a, like a reboot, just like a yeah, just, just kind of up. like yeah. regular sessions? And I I'm, I'm sure like it's Doctor V. There's and Doctor and Doctor Ish. Ish. They yeah. could probably recommend somebody for you. You know, because you want to get I think, to that next level. I think yeah, even them true. period themselves. I would want them to be my doctor. Yeah, because, because they they, they know us. They yeah. know and. And they can tell if we got better. It's hard to get him to talk and to break down. And that was one of the things going in. I was just like, and they told us, if you lean in and be open and honest, we can help. But if you don't give us nothing to work with, if you act like, oh, I'm fine, I'm cool, you don't realize how much damage you're honestly doing to yourself. I think that's how, uh, no, Drew, how Drew was. Cause he, he, but he admitted, he said he yeah, shuts he down, like, but he, he came out that down. room crying that time. And he was like, yo, they really get in your mind. I was like, how do you think so? That's why they're constantly watching your patterns. When you wake up, what do you do? Like, you don't realize how much you're of- You're being evaluated. You do, yeah, you're being evaluated. It's almost like how they do the sleep studies. Mm -hmm. So it's just like they're monitoring your sleep habits, your patterns, if you're Always, when you do get your phone, is that what you're on the whole time? Uh, everything is just like just studying you and then finding out what turns you on, what triggers you. And a lot of people, they don't let people in. But they were like, listen, if you don't have some type of emotional release or some type of breakthrough or breakdown, then you may be a sociopath. Like when you have no empathy. And there yeah. are people like that. that, that. Oh, yes. And There's that's scary. Like that. And, it, and it's, yeah. a, and it's that's like scary. they... They watch you and know what when you getting upset, what gets you upset. And they'll upset. know your triggers. Like, and and they'll man, poke they'll because poke people exactly. will try to hide it so, and hold it in. So I, I think that you guys, because Great. it seems like you've, you've come so far and you have so much that's strong between you. I think yeah. you guys have to get Dr. V and Dr. Ish to keep doing. You can over, do it by Skype probably. You know yeah. what? We honestly talk because um, we have their phone numbers. Oh, good. And I saw Dr. I'd rather be, v. I'd rather be in person. Dr. V is the lady. <laughs> Mm -hmm. we, she, I saw her in the airport in Philadelphia. She was like, well, I'm actually from Philly. And she just always hugs me. And she was like, I don't think you realize who you are. And she was just like, Mo, your voice is very healing. Go save the world. And I was just like, me? The little old crazy ratchet throwing stuff at my <laughs> Purge house. Uh, locked in Purge the house. Me? You know? But just to hear someone that has seen so much crazy. see what she sees in me, I was just like, I can't take this opportunity and those words for granted. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to do. So yeah. Save the world. And how did how did the other couples do? Like yeah, what I about, about Waka that. Flocka? They just um, renew their they vows. Yeah, they renewed did you see? Oh man, yeah. no, Tammy and Waka. They yeah. renew their five years. We were going to go. Yeah, because they, had, they had had some working. troubles before. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm I'm glad that they got to tell their side of the story. You know, on the internet, everybody yeah. posted, and we only get one side of what exactly. they uh, what they think. But then the actual people that had to live and deal with it, you're just like, wait, mm -hmm. they, we didn't get no quote, no type of word of, of validity from them. So I know that they went because sometimes you just got to cleanse. Like, you don't realize how much hurt that you were holding on to. And I really look up to them because I, I've i seen what people say in the media about Tammy and Walker. But I'm just like, nah, he's a good dude who yeah. had some issues. And he said, you know, Dealing with what he's dealt with in life, like the loss of I looked family at members them. I looked at like them that. like I looked at them we like their relationship with. a lot because mm -hmm. I could see things that Walker's been through that you know I could relate to. Go. Yeah. yeah. So it was they like, go from the hood. Like yeah, he's seen like, death at an early age, and people don't realize stuff that I know the internet makes everything so like you can get right in there, but. Watching that stuff at a young age, like remember scary movies, like they're not scary yeah, anymore no. because we're so immune to it. Right. Like tragedy happens and we'll take a couple of pictures. That's why you can this is what baffles me about the internet. You can literally sit there. I've seen videos of people seeing a woman get beat up by a man, or they just had a, a woman who was uh literally sexual assaulted on live. So the guy turned himself in. He was just like, no, she was with, they was like, she was like, no, I was saying no. Like, but we're so immune. They would rather tape it than tell somebody. Then to, yo, that's yeah, right. then to save it. Like, you can't do that. The stuff where the guy punched the girl in the face at McDonald's and she yeah. two-pieced him back. He didn't expect that all because what? He wanted an ice or so he didn't want a cheese on his burger, whatever it was. But instead of helping he her, they 
They sat there and taped it. He's super out of Are person. you kidding me? Um, I also loved it because I had just written it for our site that um, the fake press conference that everyone did oh, during yeah. the show. It was fake, but it was real. It was real. Well, Which and one? Jessica, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. when Jessica Dime was kind of going through oh, and that guy friend. was like, are you going to be, you know, do you want your daughter to be a stripper? And like all the women especially were like, yes, like at her answer. She yes. was so good. But I loved the part where it cuts to both of you and you're like, I want to know what special secrets you have. And oh, you're yeah. like, None of your business, right? Oh, that was you guys, no, when right? Said, she said, I got some tricks on my sleeve. I said, well, I want to see this. I want to see what's... <laughs> and he, he stands next to the text and he goes, it's none of your he business. He says, I'm nosy. He always says, I'm nosy. <laughs> I said, I'm not nosy. Yeah, nosy I don't nosy. I don't join in, but I stay close enough to get some of the tea. Yeah, yeah. I'm, see, a that's I'm, I'm a that's peek. I'm a peek. Hey, that's our know. job, too. That's why my blinds are bending it. I got to peek through. If I hear noise or if I see something, I'll be like... I see where our kids get it from. We and her be talking, and then my son would be like... What are you talking oh, about? Oh, so uh, y'all going in and what y'all get? I'll be like, yo, mind your business, yeah. boy. Kids, kids not supposed to join in grown folks' conversation. Look, look who they get it from. <laughs> no, they I'm always listen. The they always under mom. Hey, mom, we'll go in the store, you know, me. Man, y'all ain't getting nothing, so don't ask for nothing. I ain't, get, I ain't buying y'all nothing because y'all was acting crazy today. <gasps> they get in, they'll get up under mom. mom. Hey, mom. Can we do this? But not knowing, mom comes to me about anything yeah. concerning financial. Yep. Got so us. she'll be like, uh, well, the kids want to get this. I'm like, no, how, I don't give them nothing. How old are your kids? You've got like of, five oh. kids? I gave birth well, to five. she gave birth to we five. Have we have eight, eight, total. Total. eight. Eight. Okay, so, so break this down for us. Okay. The oldest okay. is 16. That's heaven. That's a that's a boy? A girl. girl. A girl. Heaven. 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 Yeah, so it's yeah. four boys, four that's girls. Oh, wow, good. So, uh, that's her bio. Man, it's so heaven. Well, my five is heaven, goddess, Justin, Jonah, and Carl. So Carl is three. That's our that's son. little baby. Yeah. Yeah. Our six year old is Jonah. Justin. Jonah. Jonah. Justin just Justin turned just 10. Turned 10. Gotti's about Gotti to be 14. Is... No. Gotti's about to be 14. Yeah, she's about to be 14 on the 24th of and this then, month. That's a girl, but then I have a son that's about you. to be 14 two days after her daughter so turned 14. Wow. And we have a 10 year old. Justin is 10, and Justin Kylie 10 is 10. And Kylie is 10. She got two no, that Kylie's are 10. nine. She'll, She'll be 10. 10 in April. So, so we she, call them the twins. She yeah. has a, a, a 10 year old. A, my nine year old will be, I mean, she has a 10 year old, Justin. He just but my nine year old will be 10. So they'll be the same age for almost a year. And then, then we have, then the 13, the, uh, the 13 year old, she has a 13 year old. I have a 13 year old. I had mine's a boy, hers a girl, and they'll be 14, 14 two days apart. Wow. February 24th. So and February now, 26th. and how, how yeah. many live with you all the time? Yeah. How many are away? There's always all a couple all of them. The, <laughs> all the boys except one stays in Philly with us. And then my daughters, Heaven and, and Goddess, they live in, God, they in Maryland because they didn't want to come to yeah, Philly. And, and I'm my just two like, girls well, in Philly. so it's so, an hour and a half, two hour drive. Do they so live in there. at school? Like, no, oh, they live oh, with my oh, parents. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. yeah. They, the reason why I allowed, because I was like, I really want y'all to stay. And they was like, well, mom, we don't want Philadelphia to go to school in Philly. They don't want to mess up their, because they're all in AVID classes. Like I said, like I said, one of them about to graduate now. So yeah, she needs heavy. a few that's credits. But if she was in, probably leave, in Pennsylvania probably or Philly, that. she'll probably still have about two, three years. But to my go. parents, they were just like, if they were like, we're so used to having y'all here. Like if y'all, if they leave, we think my parents yeah. really thought that they would like have broken hearts and die. And I'm just like, <laughs> they was like, you don't realize how much of a joy they're here to have with us. So you can visit. But I'm like, they're my kids. They came out of my body. <laughs> like, you can visit. Yeah, like, how do you Thanks, say that? Mom. But it's like, <laughs> honestly, I, I, I know, like when we when they do come, like they'll come for the summer. But, but girls, even in, they don't even want to. Like, they're always Maryland. on their phone. They don't even when they're there. They don't even. You, they're so to themselves. They're so introverted. I don't understand how my kids have friends because they don't <laughs> talk crazy. to anybody. They'll literally sit here and be like this the whole time. Well, they're probably they're talk. Aren't they talking? <laughs> no, they're, they're probably talking. Yeah, but but they're I, texting. But we was like, yo, it was yeah, one time. Yeah, it was one time we went to a. Uh, we was about to go to a PMB show, PMB rock show. PMB a good friend of mine. So, um, uh, the seventeen year old, the sixteen year old, she like, I want to go, I want to go, I want to go. So she was talking about us on our on our butts about hype. it. We want to go. Okay, we're gonna get you passes. Okay, don't worry. Are y'all gonna? Get, yeah, we're gonna get you passes. So. About three hours before the show, we're like, yo, what's up with you? I don't want to go no more. Oh. And do you know how that feels? Girl, after you have teenagers. to call people, say, they say, who? Right. And they text right. it, who should we lead the passes for? Because we about to go in. Da, da, da. And I'm like, oh, we good. Then I had to be like, oh, something else came up. I forgot I double booked. I'm like, Ugh. 
My kids. It's like they're 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 not. Things they have. They don't care about the hype of anything or the hype of social media. Hype of anything. They be like, I saw your mom on social media, but they barely on there. I'm like, I was so hyped one day when my daughter posted me like as her woman crush Wednesday, or when she likes my picture, or she'll comment, I see you, ma, or she'll say, I see you, sis. I'm like, my daughter said she seen me. They so chill, but it's like it's like they so chill. It's like they so chill when they get excited. We like, oh shoot, what happened? Yeah, what, what, what happened? What happened? Oh, <laughs> they like, like so you're chill. Ruining it, mom. Yeah. <laughs> right? I'm like, people are like, yo, that's your mom. Like, do you realize that? Like, like, okay. They don't so care. the so the two girls are down in Maryland going to school. Yes. And then the four boys yeah. are going to school in Philly. In, in Philly. Yeah. And then your little guy is probably like he's in nursery school. Well, he's in pre-K. No, he's three, oh, he's pre-K. pre-K. Because his birthday fell. Man, he need to be in kindergarten. Yeah, because he's super smart. He has the, the comprehension of a four fourth year. grade. Wow. No, no, fourth him. grade. I'm sorry. Yeah. Fourth grade. So yeah. he can't read. Like, he's not going to read this. But, but he got his memory like, retention and I, I his can tell you, skills. if he's in here, he can have a conversation with you for about three And he hours. doesn't talk like a baby at all. Oh, my he's gosh. Like, no, I'm not. Oh, well, you got to come back and bring yeah, him. Bring we need him. to meet him. Like, he's super smart. It's like, <laughs> like, super, super smart. I was like, what did you learn in school today? My letters, my numbers, and my shape. This is an octagon. I'm thinking he's just going to say a circle or like yeah, this square. is an H. This is an O. That's two L's, mom. The way he speaks, I was just like, oh my God. Like, this wow. is so amazing. And like, he had, he, I bought him an iPad. He knows, how to log he knows his, his own password. login. Can't nobody get in there. Like, he knows Kids his own are so smart. His login is his birthday, so he got to type all the numbers of his birthday. Wow. Like, he loves, yeah, yeah. he remembers everything. He remembers huh. everything. I wonder what he's going to be when he grows up. What he's going to do? I, I love know. him. He plays Actor. football. He's like a, phys- a physicist or something. He like, he he like being a quarterback. He plays football. When, um, uh, they sent me, a, uh, my father sent me a, a video of him in uh, in Walmart. And he had a football and he went down with the football and he said, hike, he hiked it to himself. Um, and then he ran around in a circle, scrambled as if he was getting away from uh the, the defenders and the my it. sons was playing catch. One of them was guarding and one of them was trying to catch the ball. <laughs> and he threw it to where though, like, he, as he was like a real quarterback because my That's other son crazy. was trying to block the, block the football and my other son caught it. I was like, yo, that was a real play. <laughs> now, for you guys, Mo, are you working on new music? Yes. And are you training? training. Absolutely. Yep. Yes. Training, training. New I got to see, yeah, I got, um, I'm going hard this year. So it's like, you know, a lot of things, like in boxing, you got to be selfish. You know, she know when I'm in training camp, nothing exists outside of training camp. And it's real. And like, then the first time she asked me, she's like, what do you mean nothing exists? So if I call you, I need you. I said, It's I'm almost not available. like being a American who came again. No outside I said, I'm not available. Content. Like, she well, said, well, how serious athletes, is it? Athletes, yeah. I said, well, yeah, how serious crazy. is it? In boxing, you got to be selfish. She said, how serious is it? I said, how serious is it? I was in training camp and. How long is training camp? It, it could depends. be however long. I was in training camp and my um my younger brother had got um shot in the back by an off-duty cop. <gasps> so I didn't know that when I when I got out of training camp, they told me it happened. But oh. they already had the funeral, they already had everything. Oh, no. everything. When yeah, did this so happen? This is in twenty fifteen. Oh, no, that's it's terrible. About twenty or twelve, I think, twenty twelve or twenty thirteen. Yeah. So boxing, because at the end of the day, when I'm in there, you you put your life on the line. So they know not to tell me about yeah, anything. Yeah, it's almost like so I had a younger brother that died and didn't know nothing oh, about it until I was finished monastery. my fight. Yeah. But yeah, so you know, I'm still but with my a promotional company. Because, yeah. And then you come back and then everyone's mourned it and you, yeah. like, you have to go through it. And you have it. to realize, like, dang, like, I'll never so see that person. more again. fights to come this year, definitely. Yeah. When, yeah. When, yeah. when are you fighting next? Um, I don't have a set date yet, you know, so... Like I said, I got to be selfish. So if I'm going to be zoned in on boxing, I can't We won't be able nothing. to come here. I'll be the only one. You're coming. Nothing. Yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hyped. Nothing, yeah, so. what are you working on? I just want to ask you about, about boxing. Do you uh-huh. enjoy it? Like, do you really enjoy um, it when you do it? I, truth be told, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because because it's his job. I say that I say that because I've been doing it for so long since I was younger. It's basically all I know how to do. So it's like, you know, I don't know how to do nothing else. I don't want to do nothing else. So am I enjoying it or I'm doing it just because I know how to do it and it's easy and it's free money? Well, I'm glad it's good money. I can't imagine it's really easy, though. But he's been, how long have you been boxing? Mm, I've been boxing for, how old are you? 24. Oh, you wasn't born yet. So he's been boxing. 92. Yeah. Wow. 20. I didn't six know years. boxer. Yeah. I didn't know boxers could have a career years. for that long. Yeah, yeah especially years. when you start. It, off matter of fact, it was just twenty six years in October. Well, yeah, because it's very physically demanding. But I very think about it. I didn't want to box. I didn't want to. I was just younger, and my brother was going to the gym. And when I get on punishment, the only way I I can go outside is if I yeah. go to the gym. So it was. 
it's hard to stay self-motivated. Very hard. I mean, very hard. A lot of people will see me and be like, yo, damn, that was your homie. You used to beat them and all this. They didn't, they not half as good as you. And damn, they win a world championship. Like it's, it's, it's like, like, why haven't you won a world championship yet? I'm like, damn, good question. It's like I said, it's hard to stay motivated, man. It's very, very hard. Yes, and well, it must be, and it's just very physically demanding. And then you're a little mo, you're working yes. on more music. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, right before we got here, I'm so excited. We got the clearance papers, and my first single entitled "The Plug" is featuring Wiz Khalifa. Yeah, oh, so yeah, hold, wow. hold, 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 hold. That's amazing. Hold on, hold on. So, oh, my like, my, my, oh, my ten year old's on the song too. I was a finish. Oh. I was just saying. I was just Tell excited. Featuring Wiz Khalifa, and and our song Justin is singing Shout on it as well because he's that's the, the one that's gonna uh be I think the next superstar of the family as far as music. So, but my whole EP album. This is the three year old. No, this is ten year old. Oh, the ten year old. Yeah. Okay. The Justin. Justin. But what's crazy? Justin. I got I got some surprises for this album. I'll, I'm gonna do a song with my 16 year old daughter because she recorded a song called "I Just Wanna Sing," and I heard it. And she I was did. Crying. Yes. So you ain't, but it's all, Norman gave it to him. my sis, my brother in law. Oh, you're learning it, things right yeah, in front of at, us. But they played it at her sweet sixteen Aww. birthday. We what? were filming, so hold on, I couldn't hold on, even. Hold on. We couldn't make it, so that's trauma. Sweet that's 16, trauma. Yeah. How come I never know about this song? We didn't do it yet. So you learned. You said it today. they they listened. They oh so, no, uh, they played it at her sweet sixteen. They okay, me she the turned footage. sixteen when. In August. Okay, how I've never heard nothing about yeah, the song. I heard or anything. the song like you was in training camp. I don't. I'm not in training camp. <laughs> not now. <laughs> so but I, no, I just saw my brother in law yeah, last week, crazy. and I was like, the song that you played. I told my I didn't never recreate. hear it. I don't know nothing about. I ain't heard the whole I thing. I always tell her, yo, you should sing, sing. I want you to sing. She's but like, she I don't like singing. Listen, I'm gonna tell. Listen, I'm gonna tell you how bad that I wanted to hear something because, like I said, we've been together for about six years. I haven't heard her sing. <gasps> And now she's already gone and recorded a song. <laughs> exactly. But she I've never heard her say, like, I've never. But, but she recorded um, when she was like, like seven like, Yo, years she old. Right. Good. It I'd was be like, like, you it wasn't like a real. She's like, yeah, I know how to sing. Wait, I just don't want now. to. That sound is so cute. Wait, so, she recorded it when she was seven? Yeah, she recorded it years ago. Oh, okay. But they played it at her sweet 16. Oh. And I was like, oh my and God. I, and I never heard it. It reminded me of my first album where I started off where I was I was five years old. And then I said, uh, when I was... When I did this, so Heaven, I was you're in trouble. Years old. So it was like 15 years later, I was like, I'm still, you know, singing, singing my songs. It was called My Life, My Heart, My Story. Mm -hmm. So to hear my daughter do that, so I'm going to have her playing it, and then I'm going to do it as if I'm going to say, this is what came from me. Hear her sing at a young age, and then hear me add on to it, make it like a, you know, a nice little duet, mm -hmm. get a nice little publishing check. Oh, book. terrific. You know, get them kids, uh, get them that. kids yeah. ready. Yeah. That college ain't going to pay you should, for itself. Yeah, exactly. That should be a part of, should be a part of the You guys too. have a lot of college ahead of you. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. No, a lot, of, a lot of college school tuition. Yeah. Exactly. Well, yeah. all of, one thing I do love is all of our children are on the honor roll. So all, them like scholarships, all of them. like all Every of them. last one oh, of them. One thing we don't play about Smart is kids. we play about a lot of things. We don't play about our marriage and we don't play about education or our children. That's great. Like, there's certain right. things. Some people play with their kids. They be like, oh, that, that. like, no, we don't play those type of games. Like, yeah. you are not average. Even if they You're fall off course, average. they fall off course. Because um, 13, my 13 uh, year old son, he fell off course and like his grades was like, yeah, I got a D or whatever. Change a life. And I'm like, oh, I started seeing him going the path that I was not going. On his, not on his report card, his, on the interim. Basically, like, like right a progress before, like you report. You can pull it up. Yeah. So and I'm like, oh, you got a, oh, you got a D. I was, and like, I was hearing the things that he was doing, and I was like, whoa, that sounds like me. But that's like the things me. that he did when he was young. Yeah. So your kids. So what did I'm you like, do? Yo. How did you intervene to get those marks up? Oh, man. You want this foot in your ass or not? Yeah. <laughs> Real talk. If you do this, you know what's, what's going to happen. Uh, you're going to light fire to my ass. Yeah. <laughs> we all play. Fire to my you, ass. All you got to do is take a kid's uh, Fortnite or PlayStation mm -hmm. away. They go and will lose take their that. mind. I remember but, our, uh, our six-year-old, he's six now, when he uh, used to get in trouble, I used to hang him on the doorknob by his pants. <laughs> And just leave him there. Like, all right, you like, want to be, all right, yeah, you want to, you want to be acting crazy? You go ahead, sit on the doorknob. You sit on the doorknob while we're, you know, watching TV or playing a game, whatever. He was like, I want to get down. I want to. He was, he was like two at the time. So I'm like, this is where you gonna stay every time you act up. <laughs> 
Well, guys, it has been so great to talk to you. And thank you, you uh, thank you Likewise. for taking time out of your very busy lives with all your children and your <laughs> big careers. And we're glad we got you before training camp. And we're really excited mm-hmm. to hear your next album, Lil Mo. And, oh, it's uh, entitled Separation Anxiety. So just oh, keep like that. that. And her first Separate single, verse, Little Mo. And her first <laughs> single, I think, is a diss track, is a diss, is a diss track against me. It's called the plug. So it's basically. Oh, really? I might Not be coming purge. out. I might be coming out. <laughs> it, it, well, yeah. I might be coming out with a little something. With the something. diss track yeah. tail. Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah. So separation anxiety. Yes. That that's going to be the album that you have to look for. Yeah. And everybody else has got to tune into. Well, everybody's also got to tune into Marriage Boot Camp on WeTV. Yes. Hip Hop Edition, and it's Thursdays at 10 p.m. And yeah. I, I am going to be avidly in front of my TV set. Because yeah. <laughs> hey. it's really good. I would say, because really I've good. done a lot of TV shows before, this has been the most professional and best. And technically, the the people that's best. watching it is getting evaluated too. Yeah. Because, <laughs> no, real talk, because the stuff we be doing, doing and going through, they'll be like, Oh snap! I oh, that's bad. That's bad. And then like they different emotions. When you're into a TV show, you have different emotions. Yeah. So it was like, so it's like whoa. And what's crazy is like, even though it's us, I'm watching it and it still makes me laugh, cry, want to punch him in the face, or <laughs> just like you know what? But at the end of the day, that's what it's supposed to do. If you give us your heart, we'll give you the world. Thank you. Well, bye. thank you. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so fun. So fun. Bye bye. Later.